Hello, welcome to Martress Junction TMD and I'm Andy and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to have a look at some of this Team Utat that I've purchased and see whether it's worth the money or not. So grab yourself a drink and let's have a look over at the workbench. Okay, first of all, we start off with these uh, spruce nippers and uh, they're actually for cutting wire and in, uh, it tells you there maximum of 0 0.40, so 45 to one millimeter diameter copper wire. So uh, they come with a protective case and uh, obviously in the modeling industry, a lot of people use these just for cutting sprues. They are quite sharp, straight away, clean cut. Uh, they've got a flat face, chamfered that side, and uh, they come in handy. Now, these was uh, obviously from this Team U, and uh, they cost me a couple of quid, basically. Now, I did order a couple, because I've ordered this make before, and I've ordered them off Amazon, and they're normally uh, 5.99 for two pairs, so it is a little bit cheaper on Team U. Uh, and you can't really go wrong with them because once you've chewed them up a little bit, if you've cut something you shouldn't have cut, they're like a disposable item. So as for Team U Tat, it's not really Tat these, ain't they? They do the job and they're okay. And uh, they're good for using for making your model kits. Okay, the next items that I bought from Team U was this uh, anti-static tweezer set, which is great for modelling. Uh, Six-piece set, different ends, all of them got protective covers on. Uh, they're painted in matte black, and uh, the ends obviously aren't painted. And uh, something that's important with these is how they come together, because I've had it before where you have... Uh, some tweezers and they come and they're offset and it throws your parts off and these are pretty good they uh they come together quite flush so that's the important thing that you look out for uh cheap and cheerful set uh, again i think these were one pound 79 on team U, and uh probably one of the better boys that you can get on there uh so it's not tat it is team U stuff but uh i still think it's uh Worth investing in these for the the price because they're like a disposable item again if you damage any. So that's a thumbs up for Team U on those. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the next items on my Team U Tat collection are these paintbrushes. And it's a various selection of paintbrushes. I can get them open. All of them are individually wrapped inside. Uh, various sizes. Uh, I'm not sure what the largest size goes up to. There's a size 3 there. Uh, and they go down... You know, a size 7 there on that one. And they go down to a very fine tip. The reason I bought them was because they were, again, about £1.80 or £1.60. But there is some very, very fine brushes in there. So uh, that one, as you can see, is uh, quite nice and fine and they've got all of them got these protective tubes on now for a paintbrush that i get from humbro you're looking between i don't know one pound fifty to two pound each and uh, i thought if these are selling so cheap i might as well get a couple and they'll just come in handy for doing projects on the layout or at the club with various sizes so uh, yes that's another thumbs up for the team you tat so this is team you good stuff Okay, the next item we're going to look at from Team Utat is these uh, sort of strands of bushes. It's a fair size bag. Uh, I can't see what size it says it is. It'll probably say on the internet what it's supposed to be. But basically it just says made in China and a barcode. Now, it is multi-strands uh, in different colours. Which I thought it looks a little bit, little bit like uh, heather strands. But the important thing that I wanted to test, and I'll do it live on the camera now, is what's the it like when it reacts with water? Because you've got to watch that there's no colour on. So uh, I'll just dip my finger in there and just put it on and just see if any other colour comes off. And uh, okay, don't look too bad. Because I've had it before when I've bought stuff off eBay. And uh, the colours run as soon as you've uh, got it wet. The the colours starts uh, running and then it ruins your model or your layout. So it's important that you uh, check that it's, uh, I think they call it colour fast. Someone put a comment below if it's not that. I think it's called colour fast when it runs. The only other experiment you might need to try with them is UV light to see if it gets affected by UV light because I know... WWS are proud of their products that they don't get affected by sunlight. So that's probably a future test. But uh, hey-ho, uh, that ain't too bad, I suppose. Something different. Instead of seeing actual litching, that you have to try and put other stuff on the top. I mean, I'd probably still do the same with this. But uh, it's a different sort of material to what you usually get. So that's probably a thumbs up for team, yeah? Okay, the next one for Team Utat is this scatter. And uh, this is similar to what you get from uh, like Jarvis and stuff like that. It does clump together nicely as well. Now, this was, again, this was a couple of quid, a bag. It's only a small bag this time. But uh, for Team Utat, I don't think it's too bad. It's similar to what I've had from uh, other ranges. Uh, so, like Woodland Scenics, similar to a product they do. And uh, it does look okay. Colour-wise, is okay as well. That's the only thing buying off Team U. It's difficult to assess the colours. So, uh, it is hard. So, it's like trial and error, really, what you buy. But uh, as for Team U Tats, I think this is a Team U thumbs up for this one as well. Okay, finally, this brings me on to my last item that I bought from Team U. And uh, this is what I call Team U Tat now. It's static grass. 
and it was supposed to be, uh, I think it was five millimeter static grass. Yeah, five millimeter. There's loads of different colors. Now this was, I think three pounds. But when you look at the, the grass, when the light catches it, it is very shiny and the grass is very nylon. So unfortunately, I think I got the color close, but unfortunately I don't think this is any good. Uh, being nylon, the static will react better. We use stat static grass applicator, but as for a product, Aye, that's all you get, which ain't going to last you five minutes. You won't even fill half my hopper from WW uh, Scenics. So uh, it's all right if you're doing a little bit of a diorama, but you need quite a few bags of it. So unfortunately, uh, I will say this is Team Utat, and uh, I wouldn't recommend you buy it. So... Uh, Unfortunately, we ended on a bad note with that, with the other stuff looking okay. Okay, that brings me to the end of this uh, video. It's only a short video, just showing you what's out there for the modeler uh, from Teamu. Now, the reason I bought this stuff is I don't buy off Team U, but my wife does. She buys all sorts of uh, junk. Uh, I, I don't really want to go into what she buys, but it is absolute tat that she buys. And uh, to get free postage, you have to spend a certain amount. And she was buying some stuff for herself and the granddaughter and that. And uh, she needed to make up the postage. So I had a quick look and ended up purchasing these. Now, something you have to watch with Team U, you put it all in the basket and sometimes the price goes down while it's in the basket if you're holding onto it for a bit but what you've got to watch is it does go up as well now i put some plaster bandage in and it was really good price it was two pound fifty a pack and it was a similar size to what you get from gauge master now you gauge master you're looking at eight pound for the same pack so i put three or four in i think it was and uh when we come to pay a couple of days later uh we had a look in the basket and checked everything that was in there they'd automatically took a pair of the snippers out because they were missing i ordered three packs of the paint brushes and there was only one in there so somehow that automatically went even though i could have added some more to them but i thought i'll cut my losses and just double check that they're any good and the plaster bandages went up to five pound a pack so you've got to be really careful on checkout what's in your basket and what you're paying for them because it will say item price and not the accumulative price on each item. So it will say three and then 4 99 and you think you've got three for 4 99 when you haven't, you've the £15. So just look out for that on Team U as well because uh, otherwise you'll end up spending more than what you realise. Okay, so like I say, this is the end of the video. Thank you for stopping by and having the time to look at uh, what I'm doing. Hopefully this will help people out there buying stuff. And uh, it's a bit more budget price for the modeler. Uh, the static grass, like I say, might as well throw that in the bin. Uh, I don't think that's going to be any good. Unless I blend it in with some other static grass, so it's just a few fibres every now and then. Because of the shiny nature of it, the really glossy nature, I don't think it's uh, very good. The other uh, scatters and uh, like litching type material, I think, is okay. Same with the uh, snippers and uh, the, the uh, paintbrushes and tweezers. So overall, it ain't all tat. It's uh, not bad. Uh, if you was doing it professionally, you wouldn't buy any of this because you would it would be tat for a professional modeler. Uh, to be working with day in day out but hey i'm a part-time modeler so it does for what i need uh, if you've liked this video don't forget to give it the thumbs up please because it helps the algorithms and helps my channel and uh, if you think someone would like to see some of this information about these items then please uh, pass it on to your friends share it and uh, if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I do my next videos. So uh, thank you very much for uh, stopping by. And I'll see you again. Stay safe 
Goodbye for now.